Hello everybody, I'm Bill Connors with aphasiatoolbox.com. Welcome to the consumer video for our 2016 June newsletter. Our topic is going to be empowering people with aphasia in the recovery process. Our newsletter editor, Sharon Renhack, has asked us to focus on that in a third in a series of topics relevant to aphasia, maximizing aphasia recovery. So let's take a look using our online video platform so we can see what online treatment communication actually looks like. A first key issue in um, empowering people is to turn that person with aphasia into a person recovering from aphasia, being part of an aggressive, ongoing, affordable treatment program and practice program. So we work at overcoming that learned helplessness, depending on others, and regaining that independence and that uh, self-initiative. Secondly, we have our clients create a whole person recovery program. We look at all facets of that person as we build that recovery platform. That might mean nutrition, exercise, activity, art, music, sports. It might be doing new things that you didn't do before your stroke because we know that change and growth is part of a, neuro, a complete mindful neuroplastic recovery program. Third, for those who want to be part of a community, we have a very robust, active community. We have conversation cafes, treatment groups, men's group, women's group. We even have a coaches group where those practice coaches get together and share ideas and help each other. So part of that whole recovery is engaging others, uh, both of, of kindred spirit and to get ideas and practice. A fourth uh, part of this is that Clients need to engage in an intensive, ongoing program. Aphasia recovery takes time for most people with aphasia. We know that insurance payments uh, tend to run out pretty quickly for most people. So at aphasiatoolbox.com, we have an online, intensive, ongoing treatment program and practice program that is affordable and that will be there as long as you need it and it will be robust and challenging without frustrating. A fifth point is that we early on get our clients working from their own thoughts, their own memory. Rather than a myopic uh, drill uh, or worksheets, our clients are early on pausing, thinking, being, mind being mindful, and letting out uh, their, their words and their sentences uh, independently from their own ideas in what we call propositional interactions. Please take a look at our Sentence Patterning Treatment Tip of the Month video accompanying this newsletter to see some specific ideas about that. A sixth point is that uh, we, we expect our clients to demand they participate in an aggressive treatment plan. We ask our clients what they want. We build our program around that. And that is almost always revolving around the ability to hold a conversation in a normal fashion with others. Finally, what we have come to learn so much recently is the importance of uh, releasing aphasia stress. So many people with aphasia uh, have stress. Uh, their, their mental resources are so diffuse because they're struggling mentally, emotionally, and manifesting it physically. So we are finding ways to release that so that we put that person puts their brain in position to function in a more normal in a more in a more normal mental process state and to allow their thoughts to flow in a smoother easier fashion i hope you enjoy this newsletter edition and we are available if you'd like to refer a client to us if you're a speech therapist if you're a customer or consumer interested by all means contact us at bill at aphasiatoolbox.com or call 724-494-2534.